Hey guys, I'm Yosef, and today we're gonna to be going over some cool ways to set up your Unity Tactical hot buttons and axons. To start, let's actually talk about the hot buttons and axons themselves. So both the hot button and the axon are small footprint switches. They direct mount onto the rail, whether it be Picatinny or M-Lock, and they feature a 45 degree engagement surface. Both the hot button and the axon are compatible with a bunch of different devices. They come in different lead options, including crane plugs, uh, USB-C, the new link system from Unity with their axon. They'll have Surefire options. They will have even for the NJL. Uh, so they come in a lot of different versions that you can pick from. So let's get into some setups. So here's what we would consider to be the most traditional or common setup. What you'll have is either it mounted at the 12 o'clock or an M-Lock model on the support hand side, uh, whether it be at the 45 or just directly off the side. It's really straightforward, ergonomic, really easy to get to. It's kind of how the hot button or axon was originally designed to be used. And it's a, it's a really solid way to go. Let's segue into some more alternative setups. This is a personal favorite of mine. It's based on the traditional setup and it's just a crossover. It basically is where you would mount a 45 degree hot button or axon to the opposite side of the support side. I personally like this for night vision use because uh, I'll camp my gun over. And so when you do that with this setup, if you cant it over, your 45 degree will be at the 12 o'clock and it's really intuitive to use. Uh, let's say you're mating it to a laser or something like that. It's just really quick and clean and it's just something to try out. But moving on to another method and that would be the reverse method where you just flip the hot button or axon around. Uh, this one's at the 12 o'clock on the top of the rail. This would be for guys that want to pull in as opposed to push to activate their lights. It gives you a nice ramp surface here to push up against if that's what you prefer. An additional benefit of something like this, since it's in the reverse configuration, there's no way for you to accidentally hit it and activate it. So it's incredibly ND safe if that's what you're going for. Uh, it's a great setup for that. So the next setup is based off of the reverse setup. What you're doing is taking an M-Lock version of the hot button or axon and you're putting it on either the six o'clock or one of the lower 45s. So when it's mounted here, it actually provides almost like a forward hand stop and it allows you to wrap your index finger around to activate it, which is pretty intuitive. And when you're mixing it with a more traditional setup like this one, you can have both devices activated at the same time or independently. So it's very flexible. Something to be aware of with this setup specifically is that since the button is facing forward and it's pretty exposed down here on the bottom of the rail, that if you are using it to brace up against something like an uneven barricade or something like that, uh, you do risk a very slight chance of it activating, so that's something to be very aware of. Thanks for watching. Um, we hope that we gave you some cool new ideas on how to set up hot buttons and axons. Give them a try, let us know what you think about them. You can find all these on our website. We have some great deals going for them right now. Head over there and check them out.